<coughs> Yo, what's going on, baby guys? Squawk, Gun of God here. Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest 11. Streaming is still being really weird, so I have to make another video. I hate making videos because I only I can only make like a 50 to like 55 minute video with uh, Sheer Factory. But yeah, we need to head to uh, Costa Valor. Before that, I remember them talking about an orb uh, that fell down the ocean. I want to see if this is the orb. So we can't do anything here. So we have to literally go to uh, the area. Okay, let's go. We gotta go to Coast of the Lord. There's a quest there as well. I saw in the <coughs> quest catalog. I did a little bit of grinding off screen. Not too much. Oops, I still have this one. I looked at the quest catalog, and that's the first thing I'm going to do once we get there. find the other four orbs so we can get to Yggdrasil. Sorry I'm a little quiet right now, it's like 4.30 in the morning. to speak to us. Okay. Where is he? There's an old man by the beach in Puerto Rico who said he's he like this something he'd like to see. Why don't you try talking? By the beach. In Puerto Valor. Was it in Puerto Valor or was it over here? Let's check the area first, just to make sure. Any peoples? No peoples. Okay. Just making sure he's not on like the Puerto Valor beach. Is this Puerto Valor? This is the beach for that area, but like not at the same time. Very confusing, I know. So I guess it is at uh, Puerto Valor. <coughs> <coughs> uh, 
Sorry if I'm coughing, it's definitely not. Got a little bit of a cold. Not too bad though. Okay, darlings, I'll see you when you're finished here in town. I need to go and see a man about a... Uh... Ciao for now! What came over him all of a sudden? Don Rodrigo lives in that grand old place over yonder. Let's go and say hello, shall we? Oh, and uh, don't go mentioning my royal past, will you? There's no point in causing a fuss. As far as he's concerned, I'm just his old pal, Rab. Let's keep it that way, all right? All right, let's check the beach of this area. <coughs> yep, I see him. So we can get that quest. Oh, it's this guy. Alright. <coughs> oh man, I want you to bring my bunny girl outfit so we can ask Jade if she'll put it on. Oof. I get a garden. I might do this. I'm gonna do this off camera because I think the only way to get a Bonagor outfit it is to well, gamble for it. And I only have like 50 to 55 minutes per episode because Share Factory doesn't let you record anything longer. It's stupid. You can't even upload it if it's over like 59 minutes or something like that. Or at least it, you can't upload it if it's over like an hour. Senor Roberto, so wonderful to see you after so many years. And your companions too, of course. Good to see you looking so well, Cervantes. Now, I don't suppose Don Rodrigo's about for a wee chat, is he? Ah, lo siento, senor, so sorry. But I am afraid he has gone to Eliador. He's instructing the guards there in the art of swordsmanship, you see. Ah, now that's a shame. I do so love our wee chats about fighting and horses and... fighting. Don Rodrigo will be sorry to have missed you too, senor. He often speaks of your visits very fondly. Well, I'm sure we'll have a chance for a proper chinwag next time I'm in town. Now, there's something I was wanting to ask you, Cervantes. I was hoping to head out to sea in search of more interesting topics of conversation. You couldn't open the sea gates for me, could you? <laughs> It will be my pleasure, Senor Roberto. Can you imagine how angry Don Rodrigo would be if I refused? <laughs> I will open them right away. If you go on board your ship, <coughs> you will be able to sail straight through. You're a good man, Cervantes. Thanks a million. And give my regards to Don Rodrigo, won't ye? Board the salty sun and sail down. Okay. I gotta zoom there. Can't I? No, I guess it is easier just to go up through here, actually. It's faster. I'll call a horse once I get out and just scurry over there. Skipping 
all the monsters. <coughs> I did okay. Let's just get through this really fast. Well, <coughs> that was easy. Right, get off the work. of a loading screen I see. There's our pal Cervantes. Give him a nice thank you wave everybody. Sobondo? Do they just know Sobondo? Who knows? Barely interesting and curious now I am. Oh, now we can continue on. Oh, I got stuck there. Do, 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 do. Some Drake slimes. Easy peasy. I'm assuming all the spots that light up might be where all the orbs are. My assumption. Another little loading screen. Oh, some thick fog. Where did all this horrible fog come from? I can't see a thing. Hey, Sylph, what's going on? I'm truly mystified. But whatever it is, I don't like it. Steering hard a starboard! Uh, oh. Hmm. Oh, the mists are clearing. I can see light up ahead. Where in the world are we? What the? The Strand. <laughs> There's one sparkly spot. <laughs> Park the waste spot over here. Let's go get it. Sun bleached seashell.
What a strange place. It's almost like being in a dream. since the day we said goodbye. What the hell is this? Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh. Hey! What do you think you're playing at scaring us like that? And there's no need to look so disappointed to see us. It's a mermaid. Hold on. Are you a mermaid? That's strange. You didn't scream or try to catch me in a net. You're different from most other human beings that I've met. My name's Michelle. I'm sorry if I gave you all a fright. It it's just I thought my car was back, and I got all excited. Wow, I can't believe I'm talking to a real live mermaid. But anyway, who's this car you keep talking about? <coughs> He's a tender-hearted fisherman from Lona Lulu Bay. He promised he would meet me here upon our wedding day. Your wedding day? I didn't even think humans and mermaids could get married. At first I was the same. I thought we'd never be together. I thought the mermaid's burden would keep us apart forever. For if a mermaid leaves the sea and makes the land her home, if ever she gets wet again, she melts away to foam. But when I told my Kai I couldn't come to live with him, he said, In that case, Shell, you better teach me how to swim. And so I got the blessing of the Queen beneath the sea. He's going to come to Nautica and live down there with me. Oh, that's wonderful news. Congratulations. But he's supposed to meet me here so we can be together. And I've been waiting for him now for what feels like forever. I know he'd never break his word. He's not that sort of person. But the longer that he stays away, the more my worries worsen. I know it's rude to ask you, but I beg, I plead, I pray. Could you go to Lona Lulu and make sure my Kai's okay? Hmm. So you're from the bottom of the sea, where the giant pearl from the story went. I wonder... Aha! How about this? If we go and check on your fiancé, will you take us down to see the Queen? To pay for such a kindness, it's the least that I can do. I'll sing my song and safely sink your ship and all your crew. If anyone knows the truth about this giant pearl, it's the Queen of the Sea. If it leads us to another one of the orbs, it's worth helping, wouldn't you say? Thank you, thank you, all of you. I'd be indebted to you. If you could try to find him in the town of Lona Lulu. I'll mark the village on your map. It's to the east of Hotto. A beautiful blue bay behind an isolated grotto. My Kai is a famous fisherman, as ragged as the ocean. A hanky chanky sailor stuffed with smouldering emotion. Oh, now I'm all embarrassed. <laughs> Don't tell him what I said. Just bring my darling back so we can finally be wed. Why are you rhyming everything? <laughs> Okay, lady. I'll do as you say. Uh huh? Uh 
Let's uh, go back to the ship. East of Hoto? Was this what she said? Uh, okay. Over there. That's gonna take a while to get there. But sure, let's go. We can stop on the islands on the way there. There's an island right up here I can stop on and see what I can find. <coughs> That's a different color mermaid. Merman, sorry. spell too. Oh, grab leveled up, nice. Mercenary banana, not bad. Do do. Let's see what's on this island. There's a locked door here as well. There's a couple sparkly spots. Let's see what we can find here. Just up ahead. <coughs> weed, weed, and there isn't anything. Item there. Two things to get. There's a bunch of symbols on the ground. Oh, it's an Idrisoli. That's really good. Nice. Anything else in this area? No, not until we get past this part up here. Clothing, robes of serenity. It's not bad. Oh, that's a new enemy. There's a lock thing there. Too much straight ahead over here. Let's fight the new enemy. Cyclops. Cool 
れ。The dragons gave 600, so this gives more XP than the dragons. But metal slimes still give more overall. Gold ore. Anything left here? Nope. It's a locked door, though. No more islands or anything to board until we get there, it looks like. Continue this way. Lulu, pretty sure it's what it's called. Not here. Past here. spell. Boom. Is it a better bang? That's what I'm assuming. Oh. Little tiny ships. Okay. This is where I need to be. The water is dangerous. Is something in the water preventing the man to come see his wife? I've already pieced it all together. I am a genius. Beautiful. 
beautiful Lonolulu, a seaside paradise that Shell tells me is home to the prettiest pearls in all the world. <gasps> Ooh, pearls! What the hell? Bright blue waves, pure white sand, and fabulous jewels just lying on the beach. Truly, darlings, this is the promised land. Hmm. Hmm. Sigh. Uh, although it does seem a little less promising than I expected, where is everybody? Something's not right here. Still, it's not our problem. Let's just find this Kai guy and get out of here. I feel like it's going to become our problem. I just, I have this feeling. Am I over on the beach? There's only one. Okay. Oh. At the church. Alright. Well, we gotta steal stuff. It's tradition. To steal everything. Ew. Check around the outside. Anything. Nope. Red book. I see a red book. Give me, give me, give me. <coughs> Alright, not a recipe. I don't really care about it. Is that it? That is it. Do, do, do. Armor there. Alright. Check around. Red book. Please be a recipe. My first pearly pieces. Pink pearl rings and rosaries. Interesting. Light shield, steel shield. Bam, bam. Iron mask. Okay. Nothing good. Check over here. Get the leads up there. Alright. Any good weapons? Oh! Singes a group of enemies with blaze of fire when used as an item in battle. Interesting. I don't use I don't use two-handed swords. See if I I'ma buy this and then I can increase its awesomeness. Put it in the item bag. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. The sick with still in paper strength is only easier to do than normal. Okay. Again, buy it, put it in the item bag, we can fix it up in the thing. Ooh. Trident. Spears. I am using spears. And I don't care about anything else. Sell. Serena, uh, no. Can I not sell her thing? I cannot sell her thing. Okay. I'll increase everything off screen, I guess. Only got about 19 minutes left of recording left that I can do. Church up that way. Check inside for books and stuff. There's a child. 
Hello, children. I've come to steal your goodies. But it, it looks like you might not have any goodies. You have no goodies. How dare you be an in and have no goodies. You have the audacity to be an in. I have zero goodies. What do you have? This is new. I'm buying five of these. I might need it for future recipes. Now it seems there's a thing on the beach. Oh, it looks like the only way to get there is maybe from all the way around. Kind of looks like it's separated. We can go in here, check around. We must steal everything. Do, do, do. Aerofoil earrings? Interesting. I'm gonna do all upgrades and stuff like that off screen. Especially when I have to make videos. Anything to steal? Nope. Okay. Time to hit upward. I can't go that way, okay. Move, please. Go to the right area. Kitty here. Hello, kitty. How are you doing? You can tell I'm rushing. I would never do this streaming. I can take my time and enjoy the game, but I have to rush. Because PlayStation don't know how to fix their stuff. Red book. I saw it in the corner of my eye. There's two red books. One better be a recipe. Dave the Legend. I don't care about Dave the Legend. I care about recipes of building crafting, growing stronger by the minute. Can I, think, can I go behind the house? I think I already checked that, but I couldn't. Okay. Continuing on. This is the only way to the beach to get the item. The sparkly item. There's also a red door here, which is really interesting. i to keep that in mind for whenever I get the ability to open these. Pass. It's right here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. What is it? Oh, it's Thickinson. Thick instance. Steel. 100 gold. Nice. And a seat of defense. Gotta take that real fast. Hello, woman. There's nothing more cannon fire. Okay. Time to actually head to the church. As well as stop on all the other houses there. Steal everything. I guess I'll, like, I'll name this episode like Lotta Lulu and Mermaids? Question mark. No need for a question mark at all. There are mermaids. But I have to do some kind of clickbait. It's not even insane clickbait. It's just truth. You will see mermaids. It's not clickbait. I'm telling you, there's mermaids. But the question is, are you questioning if they're mermaids? That's the clickbait. Oh, we found a pink pearl. It's amazing. That thing. I don't know. I don't have time to look at it. Um, there's nothing in there. One house up there. Anything on the sides? Doesn't look like it. Off camera, I'll do like a recheck, make sure I didn't miss anything. 
Mysterious stuff. Where is everybody? There has been very few people. There's nothing in here. This is a ghost town now. Reminds me of, uh, what was it, Wind Raker? Zelda? That little island? Okay, here we go. 13 minutes left. <laughs> look, look! Auntie's here! The show's about to begin! <laughs> Are you all paying attention? Good. Then I'll tell you the tale of the terrible curse that befell our village long ago. The curse of a crafty creature with a face as pretty as a pearl, but a heart as black as coal. Now, let's begin. Once upon a time, a master fisherman lived in Lanalulu. He caught more fish and gathered more pearls than any of the other men in the village. The mayor of Lanalulu, the big kahuna, was very fond of this fisherman and offered him the hand of his beloved daughter. The fisherman and the kahuna's daughter agreed to be married, and the future of the village looked bright. Until the day of the storm. The fisherman was caught up in a terrible tempest, and he and his catch were thrown into the ocean. As he sank through the water, he saw the pearls he had gathered shining like stars all around him. The light faded, and he prepared to meet his maker. But instead, he met her. A mermaid more beautiful than any creature he had seen before. She held him in her arms and whispered in his ear, I will give you your life if you give me your soul. Many days passed and the fisherman did not return. The people of the village thought him dead and held a funeral for him on the beach. But just as they were beginning to sing his soul into the next world, he appeared, exhausted but alive. The Kahuna's daughter was overjoyed to have her beloved home and stayed by his bedside night and day, nursing him back to health. But the fisherman was no longer the man she knew. All day he would stare out to sea, muttering over and over, I must marry that mermaid. Then one day, he threw his fiancée aside and ran to the harbor, screaming, I must go back to her! The kahuna was furious. He banished the fisherman from the village and burned his boat so he could never set sail again. And so, the man who was once the pride of Lanalulu spent the rest of his days alone on Saikiki Beach, haunted by the mermaid who stole his soul. Huh. That's all for today, children. I'll tell you the rest of the story tomorrow. Mermaids are scary! Whoa! The mermaid's coming to steal our souls! Run! Aloha, friends. Is there anything I can do for you? Maybe. We're looking for a fisherman called Kai. Do you know where we can find him? Oh, my! What a coincidence! 
You must be looking for my son, Kainui. Are you friends of his? I'm afraid he's not here at the moment. All the men have sailed west to fight the giant squid that's been attacking our ships. If you want to hurry things along, maybe you could go lend a hand. Once that monster's dealt with, they'll all come back to the village, sure enough. But be wary, friends. That squid isn't the only danger out on the seas. Don't let a crafty mermaid make you all pupule. I'd hate to see you go crazy. Interesting. <clears throat> this is a good area to stop, not gonna lie. I have eight minutes left for recording, but this will do just fine. Go ahead and save. I can do some off camera stuff. Alright, guys, it's gonna be in this episode. If you did enjoy, show me some love by hitting that like button down below. If you're all that new, consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to click that little bell icon to turn on post notifications, and you can be a part of the Demigod Squad. Alright, guys, I'll see you next time. Stay safe. Peace out.